Do you often find yourself procrastinating or forgetting things? If so, you're not alone. Many of us experience these challenges from time to time, but when they become a consistent pattern, it may be a sign of something more. Today, we're delving into the world of Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, more commonly known as ADHD. ADHD is a neurodevelopmental disorder that is often misunderstood. Characterized by a persistent pattern of inattention, impulsiveness, and hyperactivity, it's a condition that affects people across the lifespan. While it's frequently diagnosed in childhood, it's important to note that ADHD isn't just a disorder of childhood. In fact, it can continue into adulthood and may even go unrecognized until later in life. So what does ADHD look like? Well, it can vary greatly from person to person. Some individuals might struggle with staying on task, while others may find it difficult to sit still. For some, impulsivity might take the form of blurting out answers in class or making hasty decisions without thinking through the consequences. But ADHD isn't all about struggles. Many people with this disorder also have unique strengths. They can be highly creative, energetic, and able to think outside the box. They might excel in environments that are dynamic and fast-paced. ADHD is a complex condition with a diverse range of symptoms and experiences. The key to managing ADHD lies in understanding it. Recognizing the signs is crucial, not just for those who might have the disorder, but also for their friends, family, and colleagues. It's about creating a supportive environment where everyone can thrive. So in our discussion today, we'll dive deeper into the signs of ADHD. We'll talk about consistent procrastination, impaired concentration, forgetfulness and disorganization, hyperactivity or restlessness, and inconsistent performance. These are some of the common signs that may indicate the presence of ADHD. Understanding the signs can be the first step towards seeking help. So whether you're exploring this for yourself or someone you care about, remember, knowledge is power. You're taking the first step on a journey towards understanding, and that's something to be proud of. The first sign we're going to discuss is consistent procrastination. Now, we've all been guilty of putting off tasks from time to time, but consistent procrastination is a whole different ballgame, especially when it comes to ADHD. Imagine having a project due in a week. You know it's important, you know it needs to get done, but for some reason you just can't find the motivation to start. Days pass and the deadline looms closer, yet you're still stuck in a cycle of delay and inaction. This isn't just about being lazy or disinterested. This is about a fundamental struggle to initiate tasks a common trait in individuals with ADHD. So let's delve a bit deeper into this. Consistent procrastination in individuals with ADHD is often linked to a struggle with executive functioning. Executive functions are cognitive processes that help us plan, focus attention, remember instructions, and juggle multiple tasks successfully. When these functions are impaired, as is often the case in ADHD, starting a task can feel like trying to climb a mountain. Furthermore, People with ADHD often struggle with time management. They may underestimate how long a task will take, leading to last minute rushes and missed deadlines. This isn't about poor planning or lack of effort, but rather a different perception of time. For someone with ADHD, time can seem to slip away, like water through fingers. So you see, consistent procrastination isn't just about delaying tasks. It's about struggling to start tasks, managing time poorly, and often racing against the clock to meet deadlines. It's about a brain that works differently, a brain that sometimes struggles with the basic functions most of us take for granted. Of course, we all procrastinate sometimes and it doesn't necessarily mean you have ADHD. But if you find yourself constantly putting off tasks, struggling to start projects, and always racing against time, it might be worth considering whether ADHD could be a factor. If you're constantly procrastinating, it could be a sign of ADHD. The second sign is impaired concentration. The mind of someone with ADHD is often buzzing with thoughts, ideas, and impulses. Now imagine trying to focus on a single task amidst all that noise. Particularly for tasks that might seem mundane or require sustained mental effort, it can feel like an uphill battle. This is not a case of simple laziness or lack of willpower. No, it's more like trying to tune into a single radio station while all the others are blaring at full volume. This impaired concentration can bring about real challenges in everyday life. It might manifest as difficulty in completing tasks at work, trouble keeping up with school assignments, or even struggling to maintain focus in conversations. It's not that these individuals don't care or aren't trying, they're battling a relentless tide of distraction. Impaired concentration is a common sign of ADHD, 
Sign number three is forgetfulness and disorganization. This is a common issue among individuals with ADHD. However, it's not your average forgetfulness where you occasionally misplace your keys or forget a name. It's a chronic day-to-day -day struggle that can significantly impact your life. People with ADHD often face challenges with working memory. This is the ability to hold information in your mind and manipulate it in real time. This could be remembering instructions, recalling names or numbers, or following through on tasks. It's like having a mental whiteboard that's constantly being wiped clean. This struggle with memory can manifest in various ways. You might frequently lose items, even those you use regularly. You might find yourself constantly searching for your phone, your wallet, or your glasses, only to find them in the most unexpected places. You might forget appointments or important dates, despite setting reminders and alarms. Now let's talk about disorganization. It's not about being a little messy or disordered. For someone with ADHD, it's a pervasive issue. Workspaces might be chaotic with papers and items scattered everywhere. It's not just physical spaces either. Their thoughts can be disorganized too, making it difficult to start, manage, and finish tasks. This disorganization often stems from difficulties with executive functions, which are the mental skills that help us plan, prioritize, and execute tasks. For someone with ADHD, these functions might not work as efficiently. It's like trying to navigate a busy intersection without traffic lights or signs. It's important to remember that everyone experiences forgetfulness and disorganization to some degree. However, when these issues become chronic and begin to interfere with your daily life, it might be a sign of something more. It's not about being careless or lazy. It's about struggling with a neurological condition that makes these tasks more challenging. So, if you find yourself constantly losing things, forgetting important dates, or struggling to keep your spaces and thoughts organized, it could be a sign of ADHD. Remember, understanding is the first step towards managing any condition effectively. If you're constantly losing things or forgetting important dates, it could be a sign of ADHD. The fourth sign is hyperactivity or restlessness. Now, this is not about the occasional jittery nerves or the excitement that keeps you bouncing on your toes. This is about an almost incessant need to move, to be in motion. People with ADHD often feel this constant urge, making it difficult for them to sit still. This restlessness can seep into every aspect of their lives, sometimes making even the simplest tasks feel like a mountain to climb. This constant motion can manifest in many ways. It could be fidgeting, an inability to stay seated, or even excessive talking. It's like a motor that just won't stop running. Every moment is filled with action, with movement, with noise. It can be exhausting, not just for the person experiencing it, but for those around them as well. So, here's something to ponder. If you find that you can't seem to sit still, if you always feel the need to be moving, it could be a sign of ADHD. The fifth and final sign is inconsistent performance. This sign can be a little tricky to identify as we all have our ups and downs. However, people with ADHD often show a distinct pattern of inconsistent performance in areas like work, school, or even in their personal lives. What does this mean exactly? Let's explore. Imagine a student who aces a difficult test one day, but then underperforms a simpler quiz the next week. Or a professional who completes a complex project ahead of time, but then struggles with a comparatively straightforward task. This is not about the occasional off day, which we all experience, but a recurring pattern of inconsistency that's hard to explain. So why does this happen? The inconsistency often stems from difficulties with focus, organization, and time management, all common challenges for individuals with ADHD. They may have periods of hyperfocus where they outperform expectations, only to be followed by periods of underperformance when their focus wanes. For example, they might excel in a project that they find stimulating or interesting, putting in long hours and demonstrating a high level of detail and commitment. But when faced with a task that they find less engaging, their performance can drop significantly. The inconsistency isn't a reflection of their capability or effort, but rather a symptom of their struggle to maintain focus and motivation. Inconsistent performance can also be linked to poor time management. People with ADHD often struggle to estimate how long tasks will take, leading to last-minute rushes or missed deadlines. This can result in a feast or famine work pattern, where they are either extremely productive or seemingly unproductive. It's important to remember that this inconsistency isn't due to laziness or lack of dedication. It's a manifestation of the challenges that come with ADHD. 
If you or someone you know is experiencing these patterns, it's worth exploring the possibility of ADHD with a qualified professional. Inconsistent performance, especially when it's out of character, could be a sign of ADHD. This sign, like the others we've discussed, underlines the importance of understanding and recognizing ADHD, not just for those who may have it, but for everyone around them. To summarize, the five signs of ADHD we discussed are consistent procrastination, impaired concentration, forgetfulness and disorganization, hyperactivity or restlessness, and inconsistent performance. Let's take a moment to revisit these signs in a bit more detail. The first sign, consistent procrastination, is more than just a habit of putting things off until the last minute. It's a persistent struggle to initiate tasks, even those that are important or have immediate deadlines. Next, we have impaired concentration. This is not just about being easily distracted. It's about struggling to maintain focus on a single task, especially when it's something that doesn't hold immediate interest. The third sign, forgetfulness and disorganization, goes beyond misplacing your keys once in a while. It's about consistently forgetting appointments, losing track of items, and having difficulty keeping your personal or workspace organized. Then we have hyperactivity or restlessness. This isn't just about physical activity. It could also manifest as a feeling of being internally restless, as if your mind is constantly racing, even when you want to relax. Finally, inconsistent performance. This is not about having off days. It's about significant fluctuations in your work or school performance, despite your best efforts to stay consistent. These signs are not definitive proof of ADHD. They are merely indicators that may point towards it. If you find yourself resonating with these signs, it's important to remember that ADHD is a medical condition that is diagnosed by healthcare professionals. It's not something you can diagnose yourself. Moreover, it's crucial to remember that ADHD is not a character flaw or a sign of laziness. It's a neurodevelopmental disorder that affects both children and adults. It has nothing to do with intelligence or ability. It's about how your brain is wired and how it processes information. If you're experiencing these signs, consider seeking professional help. Remember, understanding is the first step towards managing ADHD.